I guess I'm just doing my favorites or ones that like impacted me the most. Hi, I'm Naya and these are my four faves. Definitely A Woman Under the Influence, John Cassavetes was so blown away by how real it felt. And I think I just kind of carried that. The writing, the acting, the directing, it's just 10 for 10. Godfather part two, making a sequel that's better than the first one in my opinion is pretty crazy. My family, we would watch that one every Christmas Eve. So that's a big rotation in my house. And of course, Nina Rota, the, the composer, I think music and film has kind of been a thing for me. So that one for sure. I hate to say it, but irreversible. Gaspar Noy is his name, right? I think just because it was so terrifying and just completely unapologetic. I actually have a tattoo for that one, which is so upsetting. So as depressing as that movie is, I don't know, there's something light about it for me. Okay, four is Bobby Deerfield. And let me tell you why before you say that movie sucks. I think it's just misunderstood. I had the privilege of seeing it with Al Pacino at a private screening. He goes, all right, we're gonna watch my favorite movie I was ever in, Bobby Deerfield. And I was like, what is that? I've never heard of it. So we watched this very, very long kind of droll film, but it just stayed with me. There was something about it. Al Pacino played like a very quiet role for him. And then he answered questions after and he said it was his favorite movie to make and he was devastated how poor it did and it almost ruined his career. So you can't really find it, they buried it. And yeah, I, I think it's like a slept on movie and it ended up being the name of my album, so I'm, I'm now it's one of my favorites. Bobby Deerfield is just a, a fun character, like so tortured inside and skirts with death every day, but can't get this girl to like him. And it just kind of felt like I was looking in a mirror a little bit of like thinking I know everything and knowing nothing. And then I was like, wait, Bobby Deerfield like kind of reminds me of my dad. And then it became this whole like daddy issues thing. And I was like, great. So if my album, everybody hates it, then I did my job. I made my Bobby Deerfield. 